Want to learn how to use Cursor AI? We will show you how to do that. If you found the tutorial useful, then subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. The first step is to search for Cursor AI and click the link that leads to Cursor.com. Once you're on the site, click Download for free to start using it. Since this is a software that works alongside your code editor, you'll need to install it after downloading. So once it's downloaded, simply double-click to install it. You can then choose your keybinds, which are based on your coding preferences. If you don't want to use English as your main language, you can choose a different one, and then click Continue to proceed. If you have any previous setups from other code editors, you can choose to import those, and you'll also be asked if you'd like to share your data or not. Now, sign into your Cursor AI account. At this point, you should be ready to use Cursor AI just like you would use any code editor. In this tutorial, I'll assume you already know the basics of how your code editor works. To start using Cursor, write an example code snippet. Immediately, you'll begin to receive AI suggestions for how your code should look. To accept AI suggestions, simply press the Tab button and it will auto-complete the suggested code for you. To generate new code, press Ctrl-K, as shown on your screen, and give the AI an instruction. Then, press Enter to generate the code. If you're satisfied with the code, you can press Ctrl-Enter to apply changes to your source code. If you're not happy with the answer, you can select the part of the code you're unhappy with, press Ctrl-K, and give new instructions. If you're still not satisfied with the result, you can ask a follow-up question for further refinement. To delete code suggestions you don't want, simply press Ctrl Backspace. However, if you're happy with the result, just press Ctrl Enter to confirm and move forward. If you don't want Cursor AI to automatically suggest prompts, hover over the Auto Suggestion and click Turn Off Cursor tab. If you change your mind and want to enable it again, go to the bottom right corner and enable Cursor tab. Here, you can also adjust some settings to control how frequently the AI suggestions appear or how accurate they are based on your preferences. Lastly, you can chat with Cursor AI by pressing Ctrl L to open the chat interface. You can ask it anything, just like you would with ChatGPT, and it can generate code, provide explanations, and even suggest better alternatives for your existing code. If you want to apply the changes it suggests, click Apply and accept the new code. It also offers detailed answers to any questions you ask, helping to improve your understanding of the code. If you want to start a new chat, simply click the plus button at the top right. And if you want the AI to answer a question regarding your code base, which takes all of your code from all of the files, then simply press Control Enter instead of Enter. You can also change the setting by clicking Code Base in the top right. And again, Cursor AI will try to answer your question but this time regarding your code base. That's the basic overview of how you can use Cursor AI to enhance your coding process by receiving real-time AI assistance. It's a powerful tool to speed up your workflow and help you write better, more efficient code. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment if the video helped you out.